This is the most common drywall repair you'll have to do at home. Today, we got a small cutout on this wall and I'm gonna teach you exactly what you're gonna need and how you're gonna be able to fix this patch. And it's relevant if you're doing it in the ceiling, doing it in the wall, if it's a big patch, if it's a small patch, it doesn't matter. I've got Kurt here helping me today, even though I don't need his help. I'm gonna show you start to finish how to repair this. And we're gonna do it in record time, this one. Time is 9.07. 9.08. Let's go. Um, drywall cutter. Set it to, this is 10 mil. So we've set it to just under 10 mil. So if there's any cables in the back, especially in ceilings, you're not gonna hit them. Sometimes you gotta give it a little trim so it fits. There you go, that fits. But we do wanna uh, stitch all around here. So we'll add a couple of timbers. Got a drop saw right here. Make sure these are all in. All right, do some mud up. You're only really gonna need two size blades for this. This one to tape in, and this one for the second and third coats. We're gonna mix up once. Kurt's already mixed that up. I mean, using corner cement 45. Dries really fast, it's strong, and it doesn't shrink. And, uh, 50 million times stronger than any, any other kind of mud. Before you start, go around the edge. See how you've got a screw sticking out? All right, once that's done, clear a bit of space for yourself. Fiber fuse, it's paperless drywall tape. Not to be confused with the fiberglass mesh tape, which is no good. And what we'll do, just pull out as much as we need for the first coat. Get some salt, A little trade secret guys. And this is just gonna make it dry super fast. While this is gonna remain wet. This is the most common drywall repair you'll have to do at home. And also you can go out and make money doing this, like what we do. You can see it's very easy. You can have everything on board to do the job. So first I like to pre-fill. So it's loaded up and then load up the joints. The good thing about this is it doesn't bubble. So if you were using paper and you had a bit of wall like that and it wasn't covered with mud or you squeeze too much out, it will bubble. But this doesn't do that.
when you do do a cutout, you need to tape, run tape over the joints. Um, grab the heat gun cut. Thank you. Just pretty much load it up. And uh, what I'll do, I'll just use this blade and take the excess. Little bit of junk in there. Then run the heat gun for about five minutes. Be ready to do the second coat. Time check, 923. All right, so we just spent about five to 10 minutes on here. It's a little bit wet still, you could keep going. If you're gonna paint this the same day, you wanna dry out this coat fully, keep going for 15, good solid 15 minutes, dry this coat, put the next coat on, fully dry that then you can dry the top coat much easier because you don't want to paint over a wall uh, with wet plaster behind it. But we're not painting this today, so, and we can actually, we're actually extra fast today. This salted mix is still pliable. So we're gonna use this instead of using the fresh stuff. Just have to work it a little more. Now you want it pretty flat after this coat. You want it nearly done uh, because the top coat is just a light skim over the whole lot and that's it. So that's the second coat done. That's how fast it is. Check the time. Nine thirty-four. Don't use if you're doing a patch like this. Don't use the pre-mixed compound. It's going to dry too slow. It's going to shrink back, and you'll end up maybe seeing tape lines as well. This product that we use doesn't shrink, so we're able to get away with this. So we're going to hit it with the dryer and keep moving. This is what we're using. We haven't, we haven't mixed it up. Normally it's a good idea to mix it up so that way you're not trying to keep pushing it with the hand tools. But this has got to be the best compound in the whole world made by Pro Blaster. We love it, don't we? So much better than the, the, bigger, the bigger brands. It's just the best. It's really good. So I'm going to face that right here so you can see it. And no, I wasn't paid to say that. But we actually, we travel to buy this stuff. Not everywhere sells it. Not everywhere sells it. All right, so as you saw, 
just want to scrape it back, make sure it's flat. As you can see, nice and dry. And first you just want to load it on, get it on there, and then we're going to smoothen it out. This doesn't bubble like other stuff. You might notice if you're doing a patch at home, it bubbles. Most, most of the time over a wall, that's already been painted. This stuff doesn't really do that too much. Yeah, really good sand. Now we're gonna take most of the mud back off. Make sure each coat is going over the last coat. Feather the edge. Might just use this blade to get the bottom. And that's it. That's your patch. That's all done. Let's get a time check. Actually first, before we get a time check, throw all of this carefully back in. Normally, you shouldn't. Once you take the mud out, don't put it back in because it can contaminate the rest. But we've kept that pretty clean. And I'll just scrape the rest out. Clean the blades off a little bit, we'll do that. But let's just get a time check, 9.46. So it took, uh, what do we start, 9.08. So that's uh, 38 minutes to do this. And that's it, that's how you do it. I hope this helped you in tackling your patch. You should definitely give it a go. Just make sure you keep everything flat. Don't try to do it in one coat, do it in three coats. Use the right products, only use the pre-mix stuff for the top coat or else you'll be waiting all day. And this just proves you can get it done in 38 minutes. Okay, thank you. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'm keen to try out this too. It's a new magnesium hawk made by Warboard Tools. Alright, let's get a time check. 9.51. 300 Australian dollars. We're gonna have to write an invoice up for them. And uh, that's it. Gotta give 10% away to the government. Here. Yeah. That's fine with me. We're out of there, on to the next one. I'll catch you guys on the next repair.